Hello everyone, today we're going to be reviewing Blitz Deck Prism, one of the four Monarch Blitz Decks. Blitz Decks are an entry level product designed to enable new players to jump into Flesh and Blood's Blitz format, a 40 card constructed deck format only allowing two copies of any given card and uses young heroes in place of normal hero cards. So one of the great things about these Blitz decks is their size. They're roughly the size of a normal packet of playing cards. You can grab one for yourself, one for a friend, and easily fit both of them in your pockets. This lets you grab a game whenever the opportunity arises and store them again easily. Compare this to the Magic the Gathering starter set. While it looks flashy and shows the foil cards, it's very bulky. You could easily carry all four of the Blitz decks in the same amount of space. The cardboard box of the Blitz deck itself is sealed in a plastic wrap with a pull tab for ease of opening. On the back of the box is a brief thematic description of the hero and a link to the Flesh and Blood website. Adorning the edges of the box is the Monarch logo. Within the box itself, the cards are wrapped in an additional protective layer of plastic to keep them safe in transit and avoid any dings. The foil face card of the Young Hero Prism is on the top. The Prism card has a rainbow foil treatment and the unlimited version of the rare rarity symbol. The treatment can be challenging to show on camera unless tilted at the right angle, but I'll do my best. This card, along with the Mentor card below, are the two money cards within the Blitz deck. The Mentor, the Librarian, being exclusive to the Blitz decks. The Blitz deck's only majestic rarity card, it comes with impressive art and in the full art style along with being an entirely new card type introduced with the decks. The deck contains a full set of equipment for Prism, including arm pieces called Dreamweavers, a headpiece, a halo of illumination, a chest piece, the heart and cross strap, a weapon, Iris of Reality, and a pair of boots, Spellfray Leggings. A Prismatic Shield Illusionist Instant, a Phantasmify, Illusionist Action, a Merciful Retribution and Ode to Wrath, Light Illusionist Instant Aura, two Seek Enlightenment Light Actions, two Pitch Value 1 Illuminate Light Action Attacks, two Pitch Value 3 Illuminate Light Action Attacks, and two Rising Solitude Light Action Attacks. The remainder of the deck consists of Illusionist Action Attacks consisting of two uh, pitch value 2 Enigma Chimeras, two pitch value 3 Enigma Chimeras, two Wartune Heralds, two Heralds of Protection, two pitch value 3 Heralds of Tenacity, two pitch value 3 Heralds of Rebirth, two pitch value 3 Heralds of Ravages, and two Spears of Serality. Two pitch value 1 Wartune Heralds, 2 Pitch Value 1 Heralds of Ravages, 2 Pitch Value 1 Heralds of Tenacity, 2 Pitch Value 1 Heralds of Protection, 2 Pitch Value 1 Heralds of Rebirth, and 1 Pitch Value 2 Herald of Judgment. The remaining cards consist of 3 double sided Spectral Shield Illusionist Token Auras, and 1 Full Art adult hero token card, which, while not an official game piece, is unique to the starter decks. One small downside of the compact design is that once single-sleeved in protective outer sleeves, the deck will no longer fit in the original box, but this is easily rectified with plastic deck box. Overall, the deck looks like a solid entry point to Flesh and Blood's Blitz format, and I'm certainly looking forward to trying it out in a few games. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you in the next video.